Hey guys, I'm Stefan Kesting. This is Tomas Lisboa. This is Side Control, and today you're lucky because Tomas is going to show you some advanced details and concepts yes. of escaping bottom side. Exactly. So, uh, guys, what we're going to work here is pretty much like understanding first of all where I'm going to put my arms. All right. So if I if you if you think about like the position of our our arms, my left arm in this situation should be either be uh, like underneath his neck or over here on his back. However, my other arm, we are used to put on the hip, all right, which is great, but it's great when he's controlling my head, all right? So we cannot think about the side control escape here, all right? Initially, we have to think about the, the, the side control escape here, all right? So I'm, I'm just gonna block the hip if Stefan is able to control my head. Otherwise, I wanna always block the arm. So I'm gonna, can you put your back on the floor, Stefan, please? Let me switch oh, the course. position. So just an example about what I'm talking about here. Stefan, block my hip and block my neck. So let's say that I have this control, all right? So look what I have. I have his head, I can go to the mouth, I can wrap his arm right here so I have the, like the, uh, the control of his head over to go to Kimuras and Umbers. However, let's say, Stefan, please uh, block my arm, block my neck, and can you close my... What I have from here? I have nothing. I can't go to the mount. How am I gonna finish you, Stefan, if I'm here? It's right, gonna be so harder. I don't have chokes, I don't have bumpers, all because of this, right? So the first thing that you, know, you should do in this situation is to block my arm, never my head, right? So, so I noticed when you were doing it to me, you weren't just really floating here, you were no, picking it and no. pulling it down exactly. against the body. So what happened here? This position is really important. If you block my bicep with your hand, just block with my hand, I can bend your arm, please. What, what I can do, I can like, like dribble to go and control your head. Mm -hmm. So I want you to block my arm with your forearm and your hand covers my tricep. So what happened now? You control my arm in all directions, mm -hmm. you see? So I don't have your neck. All right, I cannot choke you out, I cannot get umber, I cannot progress you them out. So initially that's where I should put my arms, okay. all right? So once we have that, uh, look, uh, here you dribble, right? You dribble my arm? Yes, look. Can you go again? No, <laughs> no right? So once I, I'm here, my first move shouldn't be the hipscape. Why? Because Stefan using his elbow to block my hipscape, I'm not gonna I'm not going to go anywhere here, should be the bridge over my shoulder. So I'm going to look, make a bridge over my shoulder and what, what happened here, look, he's not controlling my lower back, all right, and my hipscape is not here, my hipscape is, is here, mm. all right. So first of all, never hipscape, first of all is the bridge and now look, hipscape. What sometimes we struggle is we think that we need so much space, you know, like ah, I need to, to, to have this space to come back, all right, to replace my guard. But actually, I don't need that, that much space. As soon as I can disconnect my body with Stefan's body, like here, for example, look, I'm able to bring my inside, all right? The problem is when my knee is down here. Why? Because you can smash me and pass my guard again. So as soon as I throw my inside, my knee should be nice and up. Here, you see, mm -hmm. I'm always controlling the arm. So now, look, I have a moplata here. I can have my close guard. So your knee might enter low on the hip, but then immediately go immediately. up. Immediately. And that's my, my. Let's spin and show the people here, please, Tomas. Exactly. So here, right? So I bridge, hip skate, look, very short. Mm. Did you see? Yeah. I don't need my arm space. Exactly. Arms are here. Right. I have my, my guard right here. So if I have a space like this, like this, right, very short, just a space able, that I'm able to put my inside should be enough. Mm -hmm. But it's very important as I, as I bring my inside, I drive my knee up. Yes, it, it, your knee started here, but and it didn't go here. No, it, it goes it carved here. basically along the line of the And why? Imagine that, you, you don't need to come. If my knee is here, my hip's that way. In order to replace my guard, I need my hip that way. So if my knee goes here, I can throw my mm -hmm. hip to the other side. So once I'm here, look, I close, I bridge, hipscape, look, my knee helps me to throw my hip to the other side. 
in the habit to my clothes there. Awesome. And I, what I think, uh, side control, what I'm doing actually, I'm finding comfortable in an uncomfortable situation. Even though you're in a, better, in a better position than me, man, you can't finish me. You can go out. Any mistake that, that you do, I can escape. Right. You know, that's very important. You find ourselves uh, comfortable in the situations that are not good for me. Yeah. Well, those are some really cool details. Okay, thanks. Thanks so much.